So I'm deliberately going to film this uh, in front of the barbed wire and the bricks and over here we've got um, breeze blocks and isn't it just so different from um, Bedford last week as uh, you treat it like scum aren't you really when you come to a football match and maybe that's a function of the way that football fans are perceived maybe it's a function of the way in which uh, and there's a guy look he's just he's, he's taken some guys um, drum because we don't have fun in games do we and that's a real difference I think between uh, football and rugby isn't it surrounded by breeze blocks and barbed wire and loads of police outside and is that a function of the fans or is it a function of the game I don't know but anyway Hereford Walsall first game of the season we'll see how it goes so the wife has just pointed out that um, you get treated like cattle don't you when you come to football and I think that's, uh, that's a fair point really um, however I would say that uh, I was feeling quite nervous about, about uh, getting here which is not one for someone who doesn't really care about football isn't it and I was quite uh, I was a bit perturbed that we were going to miss kickoff but, um, but we haven't so um, let's see whether we still feel like cattle at the end of the game well not really a very interesting game let's have a look oh dear oh dear that kind of sums it up doesn't it uh, the half time entertainment a little bit more entertaining really um, Warsaw looking okay when um, in possession certainly when they can stretch Hereford but when the game's kind of concertinas in the middle of the park don't look likely certainly by the fact that we've got a totally ineffectual midfield at the moment um, the game's a bit, a bit bland really a bit boring I certainly think that as a spectacle last week was uh, was probably a little bit more interesting a little bit more exciting um, I certainly think as well there's something in the fact that uh, I don't know, the fact that you're allowed to have beer, the fact that you're in a, a nicer environment, the fact that you're not corralled in, the fact that um, you're not squashed in in these crappy seats like you are here, I mean that um, going to rugby is an infinitely nicer experience than, than going to the football. So we've had a few texts in, um, one from Matthew Orton who's having uh, as poor an afternoon really up at uh, the Gal Farm Stadium with Leicester as I appear to be having here at Warsaw where the half-time entertainment stems are better than what's on, on the pitch. Um, Phil Sturgis asking me if I'm hooked again. Uh, not at the moment, Phil. Uh, should have said in the Victory Pub, really. Quality beers in there. Gervais telling me that I'll feel at home again soon. Um, absence from the, from the politics of it all. Actually, is what he's after for me this afternoon. And I'm trying. I am trying my best. Well, I'm not quite sure why we're clapping. A dull game on a dull afternoon. Uh, mediocre performance all around, really. No overlaps. No midfield. No, um, no one running with the ball lovely beers in the Victory pub, um, awful, awful stone cold cheese and onion pasty um, from some rubbish local bakers, I won't be going there again, and a dull game, dull game, dull performance, dull midfield, uh, Jabbo and Tawndry the only bonus really, and uh, it was miles away from last week, miles away. And I think what's worse is that um, actually I was quite looking forward to this game after, after last week, and um, that kind of sense that we were at a bit of a village fate um, and I was kind of looking forward to a sense of belonging but the atmosphere was flat and uh, the performance was flat and um, the kind of nervousness I felt before the game started really sort of petered out um, and it was that kind of petering out really that's left me a little bit flat. My epitaph here I think for today's game was uh, has been sparked by a conversation in the car really with Joe about um, how going to football really is, a, is an investment overseas and it's a narrative that you buy into with friends. Um, and I guess that's how I remember uh, our championship winning season of a couple of years ago where um, four or five of us bought into it really as a, as a story that evolved over a season. So you, you bought the crap games like today at Hereford, but actually when you just dip in and out, as I did today or as I did at, at Bedford last, last week with um, Gervais, um, you're going to nine times out of ten end up disappointed, aren't you? Because you're not going to get a good performance, you're not going to get a good game. So if you're there just to purely enjoy the football, for the football, um, it's going to end up inevitably being a disappointment. And in particular, when you're being corralled in by the police in, in sub 1950s um, shoddy uh, kind of architecture and shoddy facilities to kind of engage with friends and to engage over the course of a season in a narrative, taking part in a story, that's what you go for. And just dipping in and out is going to end up being uh, a disappointment.